Hello, Leo. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. I just want to say happy birthday to you once again. I just want to go on and give your next step reading and just want to just see what we have here. Uh, just to give you a bit more information regarding your situation, okay? I've already shuffled the cards here and I'm usually in my um, after tarot deck. And Leo's with this, with this um, reading that I'm giving, uh, realize that in life, you know, we have to kind of make hard decisions, particularly when really faced with, you know, conflict, riddle tight relationships. So I really designed this relationship to kind of better facilitate your decision making ability and kind of show you what to really focus on as what's not really important in this relationship situation and really what's an important and what you're going to be kind of where you're going to be moving on to. Okay, so prior to getting in your reading, I like to just go on and make a few general observations and we'll just go on and get started here. Okay, uh, there seems to be a lack of ambition here and a lack of focus here and attention that I'm seeing here with regards to your relationship. And I'm feeling that some of you might even, either you or the person that you that wants you, may even have a frivolous crust. And I'm feeling that this doesn't really constitute a really um, sustainable type relationship. And I'm feeling that someone in your situation, either you or your lover, seem to have an addiction type problem or uh, takes a lot of risks or gambles a lot. And I'm seeing that there are kind of problems, you know, with cars and with finances. But you're feeling strongly that this is a really soulmate, you know, type connection. I'm seeing a lot of miscommunication issues that seem to be kind of going on between the two of you. Okay, so let's go on and get started and start with the card falling to the bottom of the deck. Here we have the Nine of Swords. So that connects the fair signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And, you know, you're having dreams, I'm feeling, about you, about your relationship. And some of you are kind of waking up late at night and just can't get over, you know, the, the fear and whatever, whatever it is that your lover may have gone to you, you know. Because this card is certainly all about, you know, doubt, suspicion, and guilt and nightmares as well as in fact separations but if you look at these swords here you know swords tend to be very reflective do you see any type of a shadow or anything casting from those swords all of this stuff is fake and it seems to be all in your head i'm kind of feeling and you know and i'm getting that many of you certainly are going to in fact hate the situation that you're in and it looks like it's due to a separation and i'm kind of, kind of feeling that you're sad and Worrying a great deal, you know, but again, your fears might be a bit unfounded. And I'm feeling that, you know, your past doubts are kind of hindering, ladies and gentlemen, your ability to kind of see clearly here, you know, and you are brooding a lot over your situation and you kind of fear your lover will, in fact, not return. And some of you might be even feeling a bit guilty or wishing you can turn back town, as you will, or even being critical. And, you know, I'm feeling that I'm seeing some of you even crying, you know, and you might even want to kind of review your situation more closely um, with this card here and explore your fears, your feelings, ladies and gentlemen, of hopelessness, you know. I do feel that you're a lover will want to make amends, but I just feel that things are kind of up in the air and you're having a hard time getting over whatever it is that happened, whether you've done some negative towards him or her, he or she done it to you. You know, what you got to understand, it's kind of too late to kind of undo the damage. And some of you might even be feeling that, you know. So let's move right along and look at, you know, your current situation here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. That car connects with fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Jupiter governs this card. And this card is all about karma and fate and, fate and cycles and movement and synchronicities, you know. So... It definitely shows with the will of fortune that there is good luck that's surrounding your situation. But God's patience is certainly necessary because, as you know, this will has to take a spin. You have to wait time and wait for it to spin. It's cynical, you know. And you have to kind of, you know, I'm feeling that although a segment of this karmic relationship has kind of come to an end, I feel that you really do want to do you and kind of work on you know, trying to realize your goals. And this card certainly shows a vast improvement in that area. Or a vast improvement is, in fact, to be expected. Okay? Even a potential, if you allow it, Leo, for a new relationship. 
Okay? So it appears someone, again, as I indicated from the past, is certainly going to return. But I'm feeling that if they do, don't force issues with this person. Again, give the, the will, as we see here, a chance to spin. Because it's not like you haven't been through this situation before. Okay? So let's look at, then, what's not important? Because as we know, in relationships, there's a lot of things that sometimes we just waste time focusing on. So this card is telling you that this is not the time to be focusing on what? The Knight of Pentacles, okay? So that connects with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this card is all about diligence and hard work and loyalty and patience and persistence. So now is certainly not the time to kind of be patient or kind of show any sign of stubbornness. To kind of take this relationship seriously. You know, to kind of hope for a secure union with someone who you've known that is not faithful, you know? Okay? And I'm kind of feeling that, you know, this person feeling seems to be a bit guarded. You know, they don't express themselves, even though they may love you, but they go around with this kind of ego that they don't really want to express themselves, you know? But they may love you, okay? So wh why don't we just move on and see then? Okay, then. What's important? What, in fact, should you be placing your emphasis and your focus on and giving your attention towards? We have the devil um, card there. So this card, ladies and gentlemen, represents Capricorn and is all about bondage and lust, anger, fear, and even domination. So now is certainly the time, you know, as a side tip to kind of be a bit more forgiving or generous or flexible and find out what you really kind of want. In the way of a relationship, ladies and gentlemen, review what you feel has kind of kept you feeling trapped and really look at your shadow side, your dark side, if you will, okay? And ask yourself, is this the situation in which you feel trapped or in? Is it of your own making, ladies and gentlemen, or are you having trouble kind of breaking free from this toxic situation? You know, is money really affecting the issue? Are you trying to use money to buy love? You know, is sex, drug, or any type of substance or alcoholic abuse affecting the situation, okay? And some of you might even, even alternatively, need to be cold to this person or ruthless. You might can't even be nice to this person as he or she is impervious, you know, to, you know, to good reason. But be a bit more tough, you know, with this card that I'm getting. So where would your next step lead you, in fact, here? We have that Ten of Pentacles, and that refers to an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Mercury certainly leads, rules Virgo. So I see you still being a bit up in the air, um, ladies and gentlemen, regarding this situation um, with someone with whom you're dealing with. And I kind of feel, uh, getting a great sense that even with this card, I'm kind of feeling that, you know, you, uh, you're not really going to be that satisfied, I'm feeling and I don't feel that, I feel that your focus is going to be really turned towards things that you really need to be doing for yourself, okay? And while you might kind of make a connection with this person, I just don't feel it happening, you know, right now that I'm kind of getting here, okay? So I think you'll just still be kind of a bit unhappy and kind of really waiting to see which way. You know, ladies and gentlemen, which way the ball is going to bounce, okay? And you'll just have to just, you know, sit back and just make a decision. But I think that with this situation, you'll need to really kind of make a tough decision with this person, you know? Be tough on this person. You know, don't be so predictable as you used to be, okay? So this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading, and I'm sorry, let me do it. I forgot I have a few additional cards that I'd like to share with you, okay? You have these additional aura cards here, and this shows deception here. So just to further emphasize what I've been kind of telling you here is that your lover seems to be wearing a false mask. He's or she is not really sharing his true feelings. He might have left you in some way and might have gotten with somebody else, but rest ensure that this person has been really thinking about you a lot, you know? And you are not the loser in this situation, so don't consider yourself as such, okay? And I'm feeling that with this passion card, you need to allow yourself to open up a bit more, you know, to others, you know? 
And if this relationship isn't working for you, there's always someone else that's kind of lurking. You know, that can kind of be there for you and kind of kind of offer you, you know, the things and the love that you really want in the way of a relationship, okay? And then you have this skeleton key there. So this card is all about telling you is that, you know, you need to kind of unlock or kind of look towards, you know, new things that may crop up in your life, okay? And, you know, kind of use your intuition to just make the best decision as a regard as it relates to this relationship and with the next card here you have the chalice we know that when you put liquid in there it's going to fill over and emotions just as a relationship they have ups and downs right it's all about a state of you know kind of, of change you know so this card is kind of telling you is that you know kind of calm yourself down and be still and kind of make a decision and i think that the best way to do this is to detach yourself from this situation here you know, get in tune with what it is that you want. And it's not to say that you don't have to be with it, that you're not going to be with this person anymore. But you really need to just take a step back, an introspective look, and try to figure out what do you want in a way of a relationship. So, guys, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Please like and share this. And remember to, you know, subscribe. And I definitely look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.